again to bring you another art tutorial and today we're going to be doing some abstract expressionist type painting specifically splatter painting because I think the abstract expressions were cool and it's a fun way to relieve stress like I mean you might know the name Jackson Pollock but there's a whole bunch of artists other artists like Kevin Helen Frankenthaler and wow I'm blanking on the names de Kooning and a whole host of others who all did a lot of cool work. Um, but to get down to setup, I am currently on my kitchen floor and I've gone and laid out newspaper because things are going to get messy and uh, I would either suggest wearing grubby clothes or an apron at least. So then I've got my canvas which is ready and I've got paper towel. And then I just took a couple small cups, like if I had Dixie cups I would use that. And then I took some paint colors that I've got here that I went and mixed for that purpose. And let's get to business. I'm going to start with the blue because there's the most of it. Because I've also, like, with the um, paint here, I put a bit of paint in here and then I thinned it down a bit. Because that way, it'll do that. And I flick the brush of the canvas. And kind of just do whatever you want, really. Like the other day I came across a cool article that I might post because uh, I thought it was kind of neat. I was just talking about a bunch of female abstract expressionists because I mean a lot of the dudes were famous and that's fine but I think it's also a neat thing to post because it's uh, Women's History Month so mm -hmm. give cool people recognition. doing anything in particular, just <laughs> throwing paint where I feel like it, really. I remember in school, in an art class, like, art history talking about Jackson Pollock and like watching a video on his process where he had these massive canvases on the floor and he was just standing and throwing paint at it and it was just interesting to watch. might have thought of grabbing an old towel for like a knee pad and otherwise if the canvas was bigger I'd probably just do the whole standing up thing. size brushes because uh, it definitely affects how the paint goes on. But who knows? Maybe I'll decide this is interesting later. Sometimes I don't like something that I've done until I've walked away from it for a couple days and decided it's like, oh hey, that wasn't that bad. Ooh. 
and switch. <laughs> okay, that one feels really good. You can also just play with how you fling that. Because it's a fun experiment in the process of art making. And it just looks kind of neat. It's fairly easy to do. And yet, you can also put a lot of time into it. to use this as inspiration to work with what other colors you feel like mixing or have fun going at it. Also can let things dry in between so that the uh, colors don't get too muddy since we're working with acrylic. Acrylic does dry fairly quickly. So if you wanted to wait in between things drying so that it doesn't all muddy together, you could do that. Me? I don't care currently. This is just for fun. I don't care if it looks good right now. I'm just doing. But yeah. Here's your quick demo and I hope you have a good day. <laughs>